Hi tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling, where we make tech simple and fun. Now today in this video, we are tackling a problem that frustrates all of us, weak Wi-Fi signal. If you ever struggle with buffering videos, slow downloads or dead zones in your home or office, this video is for you. So stick around as we dive into what happens when your Wi-Fi is too weak and how setting up SS points can save the day. First off, let's talk about the common problem of weak Wi-Fi signals. Weak Wi-Fi can slow down your internet speed, disrupt your online gaming, cause video calls to drop, and make streaming a nightmare. So it's more than just an inconvenience. It can impact productivity and enjoyment in our connected life. So what's the solution? Setting up SS points, or you can call them APs, for better coverage. Now, proper placement and configuration of APs can transform your network and giving you a strong and reliable Wi-Fi throughout your space. So now let's break down what an SS point is, how it works, and how it differs from a router. Now, SS point is a device that extends your Wi-Fi coverage by connecting to your router and broadcasting the signal to a wider area. And unlike a router, which manages your home network and connects it to the internet, an SS point is solely focused on extending the Wi-Fi coverage. So using SS point for extended coverage is especially beneficial in the large or multi-story buildings where a single router cannot cover the entire area. An access point can ensure that every corner of your space gets a strong Wi-Fi signal. So there are different types of APs designed for various scenarios. We have the indoor ceiling mounted AP. They are perfect for large rooms or offices. While the outdoor pole mounted AP are ideal for extending Wi-Fi coverage to outdoor areas like a parking lot. Now the indoor ceiling mounted AP, they blend seamlessly into your environment and they're designed to be installed on a ceiling or a wall to provide optimal coverage without taking up desk space. And they are perfect for office building, conference rooms, and large homes. On the other hand, the outdoor pole mounted AP are built to withstand the element and making them ideal for extended Wi-Fi coverage to outdoor spaces. You can mount it on a pole and they can provide robust coverage for gardens and even campuses. So now we've moved on to the demonstration board and I'm going to show you the installation process of our ceiling mounted AP. And choosing the right type of AP for your needs is crucial, so you should consider your coverage requirement, the environment, and whether you need indoor or outdoor solution. So here's a step-by-step -step tutorial for setting up the indoor ceiling mounted AP. Step one, gather the components. Now here are the components that you need. Of course, the ceiling mounted AP itself, the mounting hardware, which I already mounted on our board, ethernet cable, of course, a PoE injector or a PoE switch. And also your router, of course, for internet access. And a tool like a drill or a screwdriver. Step two, mounting the SS point. We can use the mounting hardware to secure the SS point to the ceiling. Now choosing the optimal location for installing the SS point is the key. You should place them in a central area, away from all the obstruction and at the height to maximize the coverage and cover the largest area possible. So now let's see how to mount it. I already used the screwdriver to seal it on the ceiling. All you need to do is match the hole with the bracket, just like this, and pull it, and you can hear the click sound. Now it's secure on the ceiling. 
Step 3, connecting cables. We're going to connect an Ethernet cable from our access point to the PoE switch. As you can see, our access point accepts DC 12 volt and PoE power option. The PoE is 802.3 AT standard. So I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable and connect it with our PoE switch. This is our WebSmart PoE switch and plug in the Ethernet cable to one of the PoE port and also we are going to use a short patch cord to connect the switch to our router to provide internet access. Now PoE stands for power over Ethernet. It allows the access point to receive power and data through one single Ethernet cable, simplifying the whole setup. So this power option is great for the setup by using a PoE switch or a PoE injector can reduce the need for additional wiring. But make sure to check the PoE standard. There are PoE, PoE Plus, and PoE Plus Plus. That's 802.3 AF, AT, and BT standard to ensure compatibility with your SS points. Step 4 Power Up. I'm going to power up our PoE switch and also the router. As you can see, the indicated lights are getting on, the devices are getting the power as well as our SS point. It is receiving both power and data from the PoE switch. And once everything is connected and powered up, you can use a web-based interface or a dedicated management software to configure the SS point. Just set your network name, password, and other settings to ensure a secure and efficient network. And for best practices for securing your Wi-Fi, include setting up strong and unique password and enabling encryption. And regularly update your firmware to protect against vulnerabilities and use network segmentation to keep your devices secure. And besides SS Point, there are other innovative solutions for improved coverage as well, including the mesh networking and wire ramming. And mesh networking uses multiple nodes to provide seamless coverage, while wire ramming ensures stable connection by using Ethernet cables for backhaul. And both approaches have their advantages. Mesh networks are easy to set up and manage, making them great for home use, and wire warming offer the reliability of wire connection, which is ideal for business environment. If you want to know more about them, you can watch our other videos. So to sum up, weak Wi-Fi can be a real hassle, but setting up an access point can significantly improve your coverage. Whether you choose indoor ceiling mounted APs, outdoor pole mounted AP, or explore mesh networking and wire roaming, there's always a solution for every need. Now, thank you very much for joining us. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon for more tech tips and tricks. You can also leave us a message if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. And I'll see you in the next one.